If you want to fix holes in your clothes but don't quite know where to start, this video is for you. I fix a lot of holes in my clothes over the years, mostly because I want to avoid buying new whenever possible. So I've got some methods and tricks up the sleeve I want to share with you. We'll look into these methods one by one and I'll help you decide which one is perfect for your case. None of them requires a sewing machine and some of them don't even require a needle. If you learn just a couple of them, you'll be able to fix any holes in your clothes. Now, imagine I cut my fingers while cooking and I go to ER. The doctor sits in front of me and she starts to assess my wound. Depending on how big it is, where it is, the doctor decides if I need stitches or another treatment. That is much like assessing a hole before attempting to fix it. Just like the doctor, we should check the size, the shape, the location of the hole, as well as the type of fabric we are working with. If, for example, the hole is somewhere on the sleeve, you may decide to get rid of the hole by cutting the sleeve shorter. In the same way, if my wound is the tip of my finger, the doctor may decide to cut the finger. No, I hope nobody fainted. You'll hear me saying this method works with woven fabrics, this method works with knitted fabrics. Woven fabrics are stiffer, so they can hold our stitches better. But knitted fabrics are made of unicorn hair or something because they don't fray. This is important to keep in mind when we want the result to last. But how do you recognize them? That's very easy. Woven fabrics have a grid-like structure. Picture a cherry pie. Like the strips of dough are woven over and under each other, woven fabric is made by weaving yarns over and under each other. Knitted fabrics have a more elaborated structure with loops of yarn. An easy way to recognize them is by that wheat stalk kind of pattern most of knitted fabrics have. Now that we have the basic of fabric, let's talk about the methods to fix holes. So let's start with hand stitching. For this, you will need a needle, scissors and thread. The best thread is one in matching color and in similar thickness as the yarn of the fabric. We start by anchoring the thread with a knot. Then we pick a little fabric from one edge of the hole and pick some fabric from the other edge. And we keep going back and forth, anchoring the last stitch at the end. If this is not clear, I have a step-by-step -step video I will link at the end of this video. Please watch it after having watched this whole video so you can pick your favorite method. If you can see through the hole easily, this is not a great method. Hand stitching is best for small holes and long cuts. It will work better with knitted fabrics and less good with woven fabrics because they usually cannot stretch. Let me show you. Let's assume this is woven fabric. If you join the sides of a hole in the woven fabric, you see, you get these waves. It's because the fabric doesn't stretch. While well, a knit is stretchy and more forgiving. The second method is mending tape. This is like a band-aid to make it all better. It's the easiest because it doesn't require sewing and it's literally done in five minutes. For this one, you will need mending tape, not to be confused with fabric tape, that's different. And you can get it in a similar color of the fabric you're working with. You will also need scissors, a little piece of paper and an iron. So we start by making a patch of mending tape a little bit bigger than the hole and we round it. This is to avoid corners to get caught and uh, peel out. The mending tape goes inside, so I get the inside of my garment inside up and I get that piece of paper to put it underneath the hole. In this way, the tape will not stick on the ironing board. Then we put the mending tape shiny side down and we press it. Now, every mending tape is slightly different, so follow the instructions on the one that you get. The result will look like this. If the hole, like in my case, already started fraying, you can still see it, but the tape will prevent it from getting bigger. If your hole has not frayed yet, because it's fresh or because it's a knitted fabric, then this method is really good. This works best on small, medium holes, because the mending tape is quite rigid, so a bigger patch could become visible through the fabric. 
and it's best on woven fabrics, especially delicate fabrics. It's okay on knits as long as the hole is small because knits are stretchy while the mending tape is not. So the tape may create a weird effect or even peel on knits. If you want to keep your fix discreet, the previous methods are the best, but personally I see holes as an opportunity to add my own signature. So if we take the hole we just closed with mending tape, I will add a simple embroidery design on top using an embroidery hook, embroidery floss and a water erasable marker. If you don't have an embroidery hook, don't let that stop you. You can make your own hook using a plastic container if you have one around. You want to cut all around the ceiling very careful, otherwise you'll have one more hole to fix. It's important to keep in mind that mending fabric is really rigid and the needle won't pass through it easily. That's why here I picked a design that didn't involve stitching in the center of the patch. On the same top I had a huge rip, so I patched it by sewing some fabric inside and then I embroider this beautiful octopus on top using a pattern I purchased. Look, there are tons of small embroidery patterns and tutorials. The inspiration is everywhere. Embroidery on woven fabric like the top we just saw usually holds great, even after many, many washes because the yarn is tightly woven. This is unfortunately not true for knit fabrics like t-shirts. So if you want to embroider on a t-shirt, follow this recommendation to make your own embroidery durable. First of all, apply fusible interfacing in the back before embroidering or apply fabric glue in the back after embroidering. Also, pick a design with short stitches that will have the stitches to stay in place and not deform. And then finally, wash in washing bags because that will protect better the embroidery work. Now if the hole is big, that means you can see through it, patching or darning are the way to go. Patching comes in all flavors. For example, you can place the patch inside or outside of the garment and you can use a matching color to keep your fix discreet or you can use a contrasting patch to scream out loud, I made my own clothes and I'm proud of it. To patch a hole, cut a piece of fabric slightly larger than the hole and place it over the hole, making sure it covers the hole completely. Then sew the patch in place by hand, with the, always with the thread in a matching or contrasting color, doesn't matter, but in a similar size as the yarn of the fabric. And how closely the stitches are spaced is not too important. We're just reinforcing the area so that the hole will not expand. If you tuck the edge of the patch underneath like this, this is called a plique. And I suggest to do it when your patch is made of woven fabric, otherwise it's going to fray and detach. You could also decide to save the effort and use iron-on patches like this. These are pre-made patches with adhesive on the back that can be ironed onto the garment to cover the hole. I think these are especially cool for kids since they fall a lot and with these patches they'll get a more badass look. Darning! If you follow me, you know I love darning. This method involves weaving embroidery floss or yarn to basically create a new piece of fabric. Also in this case, you can do it in matching colors to mend invisibly or you can get creative with colors and create your own signature. I find it especially useful for thick and sturdy fabrics like denim or wool, but it works with nearly all fabrics and it's a lot of fun to do. Watch this video linked here to see in detail how to darn a hole. The title says it works for socks, but it works with pretty much everything. Thank you for watching, I am Valentina and my channel is all about upcycling, mending and creating the least possible fashion waste. Thank you.